Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at Suku's new Autumn and Winter 2021 collection. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already saw my reel where I swatched um, both eyeshadow palettes, the blush, as well as the brand new line of sheer matte lipsticks. So from this fall collection, I've picked up two of the eyeshadow quads. These are both limited edition. Um, this is 106 Saegi, which is described as a pistachio brown and warm brown color tone and then 107 do you kitty which is described as a mauve pink and gray brown so this shade here that gray brown really really pretty they did have two blushes in the collection which are limited edition as well the one that I picked up is 129 Fuyu Kodachi which is blush brown and soft pink the other blush that I didn't pick up is 128 Kuchiha Brown Red and Tea Beige. I mean, they look, they both look pretty, except uh, I only wanted to focus on one because I just didn't know, you know, a, a blush like this, how it's going to exactly look on my skin. Although in person now and after swatching it, I think it's going to be beautiful as well. So as for the sheer matte lipsticks, I have five shades here. Three of the shades released uh, for this collection is limited edition, and I think there are 10 shades that are kind of non-limited, non so they'll keep coming back as long as people are interested in them. What's interesting about these sheer matte lipsticks is that they're not all that sheer. I did some swatches on the back of my hand earlier, and it really felt like a very moisturizing lipstick that has um, a soft matte finish. So I'm gonna see what that's like once I you know, do the lip swatches and, and have that on the lips, see how it settles. And they're trying to be more environmentally conscious with this uh, matte lipstick release. So you have to purchase the caps separately um, from the actual lipstick. And the caps are $4, four euros, if I remember correctly. So the lipsticks come in a separate box like this with a plastic cap here, which you can easily just take off. And then you buy this cap separately. And it's just a you know regular clasp enclosure, it's not magnetic. Fun design. And I thought it was a cool idea just to save some, you know, extra cap production. Uh, you can choose to get multiple caps if you would like, if you don't want to, you know, go back and forth between your shades. Um, what I plan to do is I'll take the one that I'm using out, use the cap, but once I come back home or I'm ready to switch out to a different shade, I'm going to put this plastic cap back on. Now, I'm tempted to save the boxes like I usually do, but we're going to try to just lean on. <laughs> this plastic cap. All right, let's move on to the swatches for the eyeshadow quads first. And what I'm gonna do is use Saegi today for the look, because I think it goes better with this top. I'm going to also create a separate video just dedicated more to the quads and for us to do comparisons, because I wanna focus more on the sheer matte lipsticks today, since they're just brand new formulation, new to the brand. And the other thing is they're still available at Selfridges, at least the um, non-limited edition shades. The good news, if you've missed this collection, you get another shot at trying to get it through a regular retailer. Um, it will be, this collection will be available on August 20th, so it will be this Friday and it will be available at Harrods, Liberty, and Cult Beauty. So set your alarm for UK time, um, and hopefully you guys get what you're looking for. If you missed it, and you miss it on Friday as well, which is not uncommon, um, you could use a proxy shopping service to try and get uh, any of these items. And I will link below a proxy service I've used in the past with good success, um, in case you guys are interested, so you can check that out as well. And this is Saegi, which is number 106. One oh seven, see you, kitty. And 
and they do blend and diffuse beautifully like most Suku quads. Um, this one looks a little patchy here, but I think if I go in a little bit further, it does diffuse well. For the blush 129 Fuyu Kodachi, I'm going to swatch here, which is the lighter shade and has more of a sheen. And then the side here that's deeper. And then finally mixing the two together. So this is the light one and it, you can't really see it on my skin. I can see the sheen in person. Then we have the deeper shade, which you can't really see very well. This is buildable like all Suku shades. And I do think once I build, I'm sorry, you can barely see it. But once I start building it, I think you'll be able to see it on the cheeks. With the sheer matte lipsticks, it has the Suku engraving here and then also has the S kind of logo, which is brand new to the brand, um, has an engraving on the bullet of the lipstick as well. So let's start with shade Seigyoku, which is this um, pinky shade. And from the website, this shade is described as Fuchsia Orchid Pink provides dignified yet soft look. And I did uh, about four of these kind of back and forth. So I feel like they're fairly pigmented. And this is number five, Sheen Omi. And that's described as intense tangerine brown with an exquisitively effortless touch. I love these descriptions. I definitely see the tangerine more than the brown. So maybe it's just my skin tone pulling the tangerine more. These previous two shades are not limited edition and are currently still available on Selfridges. The next shade here is 102 Kohakuto, and this is limited edition. Uh, Kohakuto is described as gentle, sweet amber, like the crystal clear gemstone. I find that it is sort of similar to number five Shinomi, uh, but maybe with more of a brown and red tone to it but they are similar. Then we have 103, which is limited edition as well, and the name of the shade is Goku Ju Iro. Noble coffee brown perfectly matches the rich colors of autumn and winter. The inspiration behind these sheer matte lipstick shades is uh, our trees, actually. Colors of trees, and uh, I mean, I instantly fell in love with all the shades. It was immensely difficult to just pick a handful, um, and five shades is actually more than I normally would purchase to review, but I just was so attracted to all the shades, like this autumn, kind of more muted tones, but still colorful and interesting, extremely difficult. Um, and then the last shade here is number eight, Benny Murasaki, possibly, possibly my favorite shade. And it is described as chic royal purple that completes mode look with one swipe. Oh, and I realized I forgot to swatch 103, so let me do that first. 103 with the brown. Number eight, which is the purple. So these are the five shades that I picked. And I don't know which one I'm ultimately going to pick to go with Saegi. We're gonna do lip swatches anyway, but maybe I'll save that final shade like the one I want to pair with because I'm going to wear this look throughout the day. Yes. Let's go ahead and demo this. I'm taking this terracotta shade and placing it above the lash line. And then taking this green shade and placing that above the terracotta shade. Then I'm going into this red shade here and adding that above the lash line and extending it further into the corner here. I'm taking this 
glittery golden shade and putting that on the crease and blending into the brow bone. That was so simple and I love how this looks. Uh, I'm gonna repeat that on the other side, then we'll come back for blush and finally the lip swatches. For blush, I'm just going to kind of swipe across here, see how much product I pick up, tap off the excess. It's definitely light. But I think it's quite pretty. Both of the limited edition blushes from this collection is still available on Selfridges. Um, I definitely do want to build this up and get more payoff. I'm just going to blend this out a bit. All right, let's move on to the lip swatches. Um, let's start first with the lighter shades because as we get into the deeper shades, um, even as I remove them, there's still like a little bit of pigment left on the lips. So I just wanna start with the lightest one first. I'm gonna start with O3, which is Seigyoku. And these are sheer lipsticks. Uh, I put a few more applications just right here, but you can still see some of my natural lid pigment coming through. But they are beautiful. Um, these are matte lipsticks, but they do have a sheen, and I just don't think the sheen that you guys see here is gonna go away. Like it's not gonna set down like a little bit further and become more matte. I think it's gonna be like this because it feels pretty comfortable for like a matte formula. And these do remind me a bit of Lisa Eldridge's uh, Luxuriously Lucent Lipsticks. Like these might be the matte counterparts to that because uh, that's the closest formulation that I can think of in terms of like uh, a sheer color payoff that's also buildable uh, that I have in my collection. And moving on, then I have number five, Shinomi. And the shade looks more like a brick red on camera, but when I look at my vanity, the tangerine, the brown, it comes through. Uh, it completely comes through. So I thought that was interesting. Um, I did want to avoid like reds and pinks. Uh, I know the shade we had before, number three, like definitely had some pink in it and that was okay, but I wanted to avoid red. So I think uh, both shades so far, I really love them. Um, great autumn shades, like that muted effect. I think it's beautiful. Also, I managed to apply so many layers that the engraving is now gone. I thought the engraving was maybe all the way through the bullet, but anyways, no, no, not a big deal, not minor detail. And next we have 102 limited edition. This is Cole Hakuto. And this is described as an amber shade. I quite like this. There's more of the orange in it. Beautiful. This is number eight, Benny Murasaki. Beautiful. It does remind me of another Suku lipstick I have. I'm gonna take that out after I finish with the swatches to do some comparisons. Like I have a Fluid Lip Glow, 
that I feel like is very similar to this. And then I also have from Burberry a bright plum shade that we can compare against. And then the last shade, 103 Gokuju Iro. This is also a limited edition shade and it certainly um, has the most brown. Um, the description says noble coffee brown. And I don't have anything in my collection that is uh, this shade or even close. There are some, there's one shade that I can think of like terracotta that's lighter that I can take out for comparison, but this is uh, possibly a first if you don't count all of my bite lipsticks. Um, yes and it totally changes the makeup look too with the brown and very deep color lip it's making the blush look a little bit more pink a little bit lighter and um yeah it's still very complimentary though when we were trying on the lighter shades or the brighter shades everything else like the cheeks were a bit more subdued and i do think the eyes no matter using um, this deeper shade here or a lighter shade or something that's brighter i think the eyes still stand out. This is a beautiful, uh, Saegi is a beautiful color story. Earlier when we were swatching Beni Murasaki, uh, I said it reminded me of another Suku lipstick that I have, so I did take it out so we can compare. Um, this is from their Fluid Glow line, which means the finish is a, it's glossy. And this is uh, the shade Fuji Shizuku, and it is not limited edition. And there it is. You could say, I do think this is, this is sheer, so it wouldn't be as deep as uh, Fuji Shizuku. So I still think there is a difference in the shade though, because this is sheer, but not quite as deep. Although if you say that, you know, maybe this is like the sheer matte version of the Fluid Glow, it's like, yeah, you know, I kind of see that. I kind of see that. They're definitely related. Then taking Burberry's Kisses lipstick, this is Bright Plum. And I don't think it's going to be too similar to this, but it actually might be similar to this one here. Um, the Burberry lipstick is in a satin finish and it's quite long lasting, this formulation for a satin um, lipstick. So... Okay, I would say maybe in between. It is a lot brighter than the sheer matte, but it is also not quite as deep as Fuji Shizuku. And a terracotta shade I have is from Chanel. You guys have seen me take this lipstick out time and time and again. Um, but this is, I think, 102 Beige Mujisant. No, sorry, that was totally wrong. 227. <laughs> shade 227 and I think it does have similar vibes um, not quite the same as that noble coffee brown shade 103 and not quite this shade here either I think this is I think the shade might be um, number five she know me so but I think what's notable is that you know this luminous matte lipstick formulation in finish is similar to our sheer matte lipsticks because this lipstick is fairly comfortable for like what I what they would call a matte so I think there's definitely some similarities here between the Chanel formulation and Suku's and as I'm looking through my sheer lipstick collection I do have two brands uh, Victoria Beckham's posh lipsticks and as I mentioned earlier Lisa Eldridge's uh, luxuriously lucent lipsticks so with Lisa the two shades we can kind of take out and look is painterly beautiful beautiful shade and the other one is rose official which I don't think we're gonna find too similar to here but we'll just swatch and see so this is painterly and it is satin and finish, but you definitely get some, you know, similar shade vibes of that like subdued effect. Huh, Rose Official is actually kind of similar to this. I think a little bit more purple up here with Suku. And this is number three from Suku. Interesting. Okay. As for Victoria Beckham, I'm curious and want to swatch 
the shade Spice. Victoria Beckham's lipsticks are also um, sheer but satin in finish, and they're very, very moisturizing. Of all the lipsticks that we've swatched so far, these are the most moisturizing. Okay, let's try Pose, which is a pretty deep shade, and I'm gonna swatch it at the end here. So this is Pose. Not quite the same as any of the Sukus, but you can see like how similar they might be. Well, I think I managed to select shades that I don't already have in my collection or anything that's too close to them, which after, after a while, it, it is kind of hard and challenging. Um, but I'm looking at the rest of the shades from this uh, Sheer Matte collection, and I think they just look gorgeous. Like, they all look gorgeous. Um, one thing to note is the matte finish is, you know, it's notable. Like, it is truly a, a matte finish uh, lipstick, but depending on how moisturized your lips are, so I had uh, lip balm underneath as I was doing the lip swatches, um, you definitely see more of a sheen come through. And this is consistent if you had, like even if you were a satin lipstick, but you had lip balm underneath, it's gonna appear more emollient and you know, even more of a sheen. However, as I um, remove the swatches and then put on a new shade, uh, after two, three times of that, my lips did feel drier because I didn't go back and put lip balm. But when I put on the uh, new shade, uh, it definitely looked more matte. And it definitely looked a little bit more set in, which is, you know, a classic kind of matte behavior. Um, so that's something to note. If you want truly a more matte look with these lipsticks, uh, I recommend just, you know, maybe lightly moisturizing beforehand if, um, if you're okay with that. I always want a bit more moisture, so this here looks fine to me. Um, I did for this last swatch um, add more lip balm because my lips were getting pretty dry from just constantly wiping. And yeah, I'm fine with this look. I think it's great. Um, it'll definitely settle as like the lip balm starts to dissipate and kind of transfer onto a cup and, and whatnot. Um, this formulation by itself, I think it's reasonably comfortable. Um, I'll have to come back and let you guys know how it wears throughout the day. Sort of like a, you know, did this work or will I repurchase? But I'm very, very interested in more of these in different shades. Um, so there is my review of the lipsticks and um, just a quick like swatching of the blush as well as the eyeshadows. Um, I love Saegi, I think it's really, really gorgeous. So for my next video, we're gonna look more at the um, eyeshadow quads in depth and do some swatch comparisons with um, other eyeshadow brands that I have in my collection. So all the products that we looked at today are made in Japan. And for the lipsticks, I don't see a shelf life printed. For the eyeshadow and blush, it is 12 months. The blush turned out a lot more complimentary to you know all the shades and on my skin tone than I initially thought. Uh, it just looked not what I'm used to when I saw the photo, so that's why I only picked up one. Um, but yeah, I, I, I actually really like it. I think it pairs really well with everything we've tried. Um, I do have deeper blush shades from Suku that I thought for me had a steeper learning curve, but with the pure color blushes, as we know, they are lighter in color payoff. And so even if it looks like a little bit intimidating, like really bright or you know deeper than what we're used to, it's hard to do anything that you can't quickly and easily correct. So that's the other great thing about these. But yeah, I think the blush is beautiful as well. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll have my other video on the Suku quads very soon here. Take care. See you next time. Bye.